Toledo Jetty is one of the best shore accessible snorkeling sites on Florida's west coast, north of the Keys. It is the only snorkel site on the west coast with lifeguards and easy access for families and people who have difficulty reaching more remote sites. Toledo Jetty has immense biodiversity for such a small area with over 150 species identified. The jetty is also a spawning ground for many species of fish and invertebrates, including many economically important species. The jetty also provides a safe haven for the growing fish and invertebrates. The spot could easily become an official snorkel spot, which would be good for the economy, and provide local youth with an exciting educational hotspot. The possibility of additional reef blocks placed offshore could provide a new scuba location for divers. Sadly, the jetty is facing threats which put swimmers at risk and would destroy this amazing spot. Overfishing appears to have wiped out the spotted sea trout from the jetty. We have observed swimmers nearly being hooked by careless anglers. One being a mother with her child in a float. Fishing near swimmers is not only inconsiderate, but also unsafe. When hooks and lines get left in the rocks, they're often cut rather than removed, leaving hooks, lead weights, lures, and fishing line behind. However, the jetty is facing an even greater threat. The Army Corps of Engineers is planning to add 150 feet of sand to Lido's shoreline, completely covering the jetty. A similar renourishment project, which was conducted a few years ago, was a resounding failure, with most of the sand washing away after only two days. The renourishment buried and killed many marine species, which then fouled the water. Covering the jetty completely with sand would bury animals, such as blennies and crabs, alive creating a graveyard for the animals who cannot escape. Not to mention the loss of a habitat and spawning ground. Just to artificially expand the beach for a short period of time.